In this video, we'll create a simple Java Spring Boot application. Let's get started. For writing the code, you can use any text editor or ID of your choice. I'll be using the Google Cloud Console text editor. You will need a Java runtime installed. I'm using Java 17. Anything newer should work. Activate Cloud Shell. Normally, we'll create a new folder and start writing our code here. But for Java application, usually we start from a starter code. If you're using an ID like Eclipse or IntelliJ, you can use a wizard to build that starter code. There's also a Spring Boot starter that can help you generate the code. To find the Spring Boot starter, you can go to start.spring.io and fill in this form to generate a starter Spring Boot application. For our application, we will create a Maven Java Spring Boot 3.1.1 application with our package name being com.mofilabs.hello. Description will set to hello world application. Set the artifact name to hello and group name to com.mofilabs. We'll keep the packaging to jar and Java version to 17. We'll also add a dependency of Spring Web. We could also generate the same code by making an HTTPS request to the same endpoint. We'll do that for this video. We can make an HTTP request with curl HTTPS start dot spring dot io slash starter dot zip. We will set type to Maven project. We will set dependencies to web. Java version 217, boot version 23.1.1, name to hello, artifact ID to hello, base dar to hello, world Java, package name to com.mofilabs.hello. Finally, output the file to hello world java.zip. We can unzip the file with unzip hello world java.zip. We can open the folder as a cloud shell workspace with cloud shell workspace hello world java. Once the workspace is open, we can navigate to source main java com mofilabs hello hello application.java. This is the starter code provided to us by Spring Starter. Let's create a variable called target. We'll bind target with the value of the environmental variable target or world if target is not set. We'll import this value annotation using the quick fix. We'll then create a new REST controller, which will be class of hello controller. We'll create a new method called hello that returns a string and it will return hello plus target plus an exclamation. And we want this function to execute when a request comes to the base path. We can create a new mapping with get mapping to the base path. We'll also need to import get mapping, which we can do from the quick fix. That's all the code we needed. We can run this code locally now with Maven. Before we can do so, let's test our Maven version and Java version match. So we have our Maven that is pointing to Java version 11 and our Java version, which is 17.0.7. .7. This is happening because Maven is picking up our Java version from this Java home environmental variable. We can see what that is set to with echo Java home. We can see that our Java home environmental variable is pointing to Java 11 open JDK, which is a fairly easy fix. We can export Java home to be equal to Java 17. In Google Cloud Console Cloud Shell, we have both Java 11 and Java 17. Once that is set, 
we can run maven-v again, we'll see that now we are pointing to Java version 17. We can clean and build the package with maven clean package. This should go through all the tests and build the package for us. Once we get a build success, we can run the application using the Java CLI tool, running java dash d server dot port. We'll set the port to 8080 here. We'll set our jar to target hello snapshot dot jar. We can see that application is running. We can create a new terminal and run curl localhost 8080 and see we get back hello world. In the next video, we'll see how to containerize a Java Spring Boot application.